kids, welcome back to the show. It is now time for the entertainment news. Uh, kicking this one off with this story right here, Kapi opens up about separation from husband. Nigerian award-winning choreographer Kafi Shefau has come out to reveal that she and her husband Joseph Ame are no longer together. This was known during one of the episodes of her podcast, Just Kafi, where she was speaking about divorce and separation. According to the Guinness World Record holder, divorce or separation doesn't have to be toxic, thereby adding that she and her husband have broken up their marriage to see that they both grow. Take a look at what she had to say. I really, I've always wanted to see, you know, my ex is the best version of him. And even taking a chance of breaking up this marriage was also to see that we both grew in what we really, really are supposed to be. Marriage is supposed to be an alignment, you know, of destinies, you know, driving towards a place God wants for them. And mine didn't really work out that way. And rather than looking at somebody as a problem, sometimes you could be the problem of that person. You know, being an enabler, of someone's not being able to do what they are supposed to do can also be that you are not supposed to be in that space. So there was a lot to learn and there's still a lot more to learn. And I want to, um, you know, express that and motivate you to understand that life is not at all about reacting to the world. Get me? It's not all about reacting to the world, what the world wants, what the world wants you to hear, want you to be, want you to wear, want you to look like, want you to marry. Just so you know, there were reports circulating last year that a dancer's marriage to Joseph Ame had crashed, and now she has confirmed it as well. Kafi and Joseph Ame, aka Papi J, got married in 2012, and they both have two children together. Come out to say this, I wouldn't even have known that bit. And the other day, when we we're watching a Peace Quest uh, concert, I was just talking about the people who worked for mm -hmm. Peace Quest, like their uh, dramas, their this, and I knew yeah. that Kathy's husband used to be their drama. And, um, you know, and I was just thinking that, oh, I said, oh, woe to that person that, uh, that, person <laughs> that did not support or was taking no, sides and all that, because I saw how Kathy was dancing and everything. So I, I just thought, I wouldn't even have known. And the first time I saw this, I'm like, okay, so uh, whatever rocks your boat, but... I, I do not like divorce. Yeah, uh, divorce is, I don't think anybody actually likes divorce, but I feel like when it comes to a point where there's no resolution, as amicably as possible, just maybe gets it dissolved. And then that's what they're saying. Um, it doesn't have to be toxic. Yeah, it doesn't have to have, mm -hmm. like if she hadn't come out to say, we won't even have we known mm -hmm. that they actually separated. I actually quite love this couple together because I'm like, Kathy, dancer, her husband, drama. Like the energy every time, like I would see them, electric. So this is just very sad. Yeah, very it's sad. actually quite sad because I always looked forward to whenever they posted the videos of themselves and their kids, mm -hmm. and it was always something to look forward to. You're fine. She said they'll still be friends, they won't be enemies, but it's just quite sad. It's just like sad.